Hello everyone! <laughs> How you all doing? Hope you're having a blessed day, just like I am. And I uh, wanted to show you guys a bit of uh, tooling that I also do for the project. So I'm also going to be including working on different type of machines and everything, machinery and all. I'll just flip the camera. So yeah, just doing a bit of uh, machinery and everything, see? So for different projects I'll be using different type of tools and machines. Right now I'm just making a channel on this aluminium plate. Put some resistors in there. So I should do electronic parts. It's just fun to do a bit of everything, you know. So I'm just finishing this little project of mine. And I uh, just wanted to share with you guys. It's always cool when you finish the job, you know. <laughs> it's the best part. And this is quite an old machine. I like to use old machines, you know. Uh, I don't know. They give me best hassles. <laughs> Easier to fix. Um, not for, it's not good for productivity, but um, I don't produce a lot of the same product, you know, or items. So it's a bit of inventing. Each one is different, so I have to take my time. So that's just a little what will be upcoming in future videos. So, finally going to put the aluminium plates here, okay, so I'm just going to drill some holes, I already drilled the holes on the aluminium plates, and uh, then in the inside I'll just make like a support, so that I can support the weights in the middle of the sheet plates. I'm going to put like a pillar, going down up, and that's it. So, let's get to it. <laughs> Step on that quick. Yep. See the weights? Stay in the middle. Yeah, so now we just have to put like the support in the middle so that um, it doesn't wave down. Okay. So take the weight of two people. Yeah. It's quite tough, this aluminium. But just in case people come with big weight and the wheelbarrow, it's better to put something in the middle. Okay. So, one more thing done. Actually, this little tool case is also very cool. With all the... Everything you need, you know, when you're outdoor. They don't have to always be going inside to fetch stuff. Okay, so, that's cool. Another update, another job done. So, here we go. Final result of the bolt on. As you can see, dark, dried, see, the spice has stayed on one side, spice has stayed on another side, so it's all dry, you can see the fat is all dried up, I cut these little pieces, all dried up, all dark, so all the juice, the spices, the vinegar went into the meat, you see. So that's a good sign, very, very tasty, um, beautiful. And that's how you do beef jerky, or bolto in this case. All depends on the spices you use, so fantastic. Um, just meat, protein. Uh, 
got a little sparrow here, shame. Got lost in the workshop. We're gonna help him to get outside. They're very beautiful. And out it goes. And bye buddy. Look who's here guys. A little friend. From the other day. <laughs> so he decided to stay here. In the garden. How cool is that? Like he just came to say hello. <laughs> okay. You see him right there. Went next to the grape tree. <laughs> Okay, so we are improving, okay, almost done, the pathway is already done, so I already put the grill that I was talking about, okay, I'm cementing it right now, just um, going to make a bit of a thinner cement, so I can also fill a bit this first step over here, to just level it out. So this one I just poured right now, been doing this for the last two hours and we reached already the checkpoints here so now I'll let this dry so that then I can just bring the wheelbarrow just straight through and just pour the cement direct you know and this will make it life much easier than pouring right now I also got these tubes in place so it's not a good idea and then I'll just come through here with cement so that then whoever wants to come and fetch eggs and treat, clean the room or the chickens, feed them, whatever, can come also through here without getting the feet dirty <laughs> when it rains and everything else. Even when it doesn't rain, it's going to be more chickens, so they're going to dirty this a lot. And then just uh, improve the whole chicken house here, you see. So I'm going to elevate this whole thing. Okay, I'm going to cement the whole floor. Uh, that's why I don't want to put any chickens here before we get this sorted out. The other chicken that was, that's here, she's already old. She's on top of an egg right now. She's like, I think she's getting five years already. <laughs> so we're going to cement this whole floor. Lift up with bricks so that they have a higher zone. Where you can put all the hay and everything. Automatic drinking bowl and we'll build us a big food bowl for them so we get in there we get in there guys i expect to finish this week and start looking for i already i'm already looking for the new chickens and i just have to go and find the best breeder for the breed that i want um, and then just bring them in that's going to be fun i'll also take a video of that part so just a little update so, just patching up the, the first step a bit. This is just something I do as a hobby, eh? so I'm not a professional on this. I just do this as a hobby. Well, someone's got to do it. And uh, so, just trying to do my best to show everyone that if I can do it, anyone can do it, okay? Doesn't take much, but practice. So the more you practice, the better you get at it. So you have to have all the tools, which are quite cheap as well. At least where I buy them, they are. And we have our little grill here. Okay, we have a, a draining exit here for when there's too much water. And um, the water will always also come through here and go outside through the hole, okay? And there we'll have a lot of rocks, just to like give it a nice touch. And um, so that the chickens can also go on top of the rocks if they want, you know. And like that, if they poo too much on the, on the pavement, then with the hose pipe and, and the rain, the water, I gave a little like 
lump in the middle so that the water and the poo can drain to the left and to the right and like that it's always stay clean so that's what I'm trying to do <laughs> and it's going well so far so let's just keep up the good work okay so updates strawberries are much bigger the plants and we got a, a strawberry here to pick yes we do let's take this one out there we go okay just put it down there and uh, yippee you see and here we go a brand new strawberry growing from the new ones that you planted so now it's just gonna keep on growing new flowers and new strawberries see here here we go another new coming strawberry and he has a new strawberry as well that's good so all this went well you can still plant a few more must be like 30 here or something like that but we can plant more still on those empty spaces there we're just going to load this full of strawberries because once they start really giving it's going to go crazy and Sasha is much better she's feeling much much better now okay she's all good ready cemented part of it okay first phase of cement and um, starting to smooth out the surface okay and then just paint it up so that everyone knows that that's the electricity box still going to put this, a little sticker there as well identifying it we painted this old vase I don't know how old this is but this is quite old um, came with the house let's go see the vegetables just a little update you guys keep on track how this is all going I have to clear out all this mint this is all mint pots you know so that's really really good this is a good quality mint so when you make tea with food this is a good quality we planted this a long time ago and it just grew now on this side because um, I think this is where we had more or less planted but I can't have it growing next to the raspberries I don't really use it much so I have to take some of this out and put it somewhere else down there because um, I have to cover this whole thing, it's the next step now so I've got a cool update for you guys I'm going to show you just now full of blackberries and raspberries look at this beautiful beautiful it's going to be very tasty, we have our jam squash which we have to start taking out and bring it down here now because we've got more space um we leveled the the hole here so i can start connecting all the electricity into the greenhouse now i just have to put more anti-weed um sheet and um bring the jam squashes here okay this will be the next video our strawberries I don't know there's too much stuff growing we had beans but something's eating our beans I don't know if it's snails I don't know what it is I have an anti-snail um, biologic um, natural treatment that you put it's like little grains it's based on salt so if they get on top of it they start drying up they run away they don't go over it so we just spread it around the greenhouse but because we're going to cover the greenhouse i'm not really worried about using that um i don't use fertilizers pesticides i don't use any of that i know in big quantities gardening planting farming you have to use it of course for us not only for their food um, but the more natural you can go the better it is you know so if you can avoid it just avoid it that's what i do and uh, whatever grows grows what doesn't grow what can we do eh? just keep on trying and trying <laughs> it's not easy it's not easy it's a test for the patience <laughs> and uh, i don't know what this is i don't even know if the strawberries are growing 
maybe they were um, the no-go I don't think I don't even know one of these are I don't think so I think the strawberries are a bit hard to grow and they didn't catch up um, but the gem squash did, and the beans the beans aren't dead I just have to get something that's eating them away from just only on the bars like we have beans down there they don't even touch them so that's super weird I have to see what's going on so this starts from here because we're already here our melons this one's good that one's good that one is growing new leaves it got a bit weak the pepper bells are all good okay they like this spot just this one got a bit weird I don't know why it didn't quit on us I think but it is a bit flimsy I don't know all I know is that on this space over here and this one it's not going well I still don't know why I'm guessing that it's because I still have this here not covered that when it gets misty at night you know and that cold air hits the hot tiles um, drips a lot of water from here you know so it's dripping right on those okay that's why it's always more wet here so I'm guessing this is too much watering going on so I um, haven't been watering but last night it rained so it's got a bit of too much water again the soil is quite wet um, I'm just going to replant melon there and replant the pepper bell there and this melon I don't know if it, it's got a new baby growing I'm not sure let's see what happens to him he's a bit flimsy as well might have to plant one melon two melons and one be pepper bell the uh, pepper bell yes okay say it three times fast I can't <laughs> And uh, pepper bell, pepper bell, pepper bell. Oh, it's not that really hard. <laughs> this one, this melon also has quit on us, so we need three melons and one pepper bell. Yes, okay, we got to replant that. It, this, I think they like less water and more heat. Sunny days are coming, so I'm going to replant these, and uh, I'm sure it's going to go all well. I'll also plant another, I can't plant it there because we have to have access to that box there. But I'll plant more there with the jam squash. Uh, we do have watermelons going well. We still have one melon, two melon, three, maybe four. But we'll replant other ones. Now beans are looking very good. They are looking healthy. They're starting to grow, grow, grow. Nothing ate, just this one. Maybe the same dude that nipped the other ones nipped this one. Then it got too full, ran away. I don't know. And uh, our sweet potatoes are good. Beans are good. Lettuce are fantastic. Watermelon's good. Uh, cabbages also good. Little lettuce there, good. That little lettuce right there. Something has been pushing that lettuce always out of the hole. So I'm just going to cover that hole and uh, whatever's under there, a mole or, or I don't know, I'll just let him have his way, okay, he won, I'm not going to battle against him, because <laughs> I, I put that lettuce back in like four times, <laughs> and our beetroot is good, our beetroot is good, now we have to start clearing up the weeds that are starting to grow here, um, lettuce are all fine our arugula is also good it's starting to get green that one's advancing a bit quicker that's normal but they both caught on um what else our chocolate mint is also good as it was already our parsley is also good we have a parsley here got to cut some of this chives because it's, they're getting too big got to cut them out a bit Yesterday I've been cutting a bit, but today I have to cut more. Um, got more parsley over there. And um, this is also going well. Okay. More pepper bell right there. It's going well. 
lettuce are growing. The first ones we plant are really getting quite big, as you can see, compared to. Okay. These ones are actually growing quite fast, the red ones. Maybe it's a good investment on the red ones. Yeah, they are growing faster. The green ones are picking up, but the first ones are really quite big. Look. It's growing, eh? If you check the previous videos, you'll see the difference. Our spinach. Um, we have here more beetroot and our tomatoes. So tomatoes, tomatoes. This one gave up, and that one gave up. Okay, unfortunately, this one does have a little leaves growing there. But anyways, we will replant two tomatoes there. Okay, because we had to go get some more melons as well. And that's it guys, so I would say it is a good project and it's bringing a lot of success, you know. Despite those ones that were broken by external forces <laughs> called Sasha. <laughs> and um, those ones were natural by water. It's very good, so I'm happy. You'll have jam squash over here. That's the next um, video. It is done, guys. It is ready. A uh, bit more cement here, just so that in the entrance it's wider, so that it's not confusing for you whoever comes inside, you know. Okay. You don't feel like you're cramped up here. We put the stones, as I referred on the last videos. Okay, we got our little decorative stones so that the chickens feel they're in like a resort, you know. <laughs> so, yesterday I already did all the cementing inside. I put a, a brick there and I've gone there because I'm going to put a plank of wood there so that they can, in case someone stays behind during the night here, they can sleep. Um, the food and water will be on this side. I'm also going to make for the winter and rainy days, I'll make a shutter with the machine that I'm restoring from the previous videos, you guys can check it out. I'm going to make like a shutter so that uh, rain, it rained a lot last night, no rain was in there and no rain was in there. Um, but I still will make a curtain for cold days and huge heavy rain days. So I gave like an inclination so that all the water will go through there. We have another draining hole which we discovered yesterday here, as you can see. It goes out here, so I kept that inclination towards here. Um, now I'm just going to reinforce this. It's already got some cement, but I'm going to make a little box of cement here. Reinforce that so that just to keep it steady when I put the curtain on. Okay. Um, so this is what I had to patch yesterday, this morning, because of last night. Um, the rain didn't affect the cement, it was already quite dry, but just having drops from these tiles down was sufficient to make holes, so it still hadn't cured 100%, you know. So um, it was like, I'd say like 70% for rain, not a problem, but for huge drops dripping from this, it's a different story. So I had to patch it up. It, they will get lighter and camouflage into the cement. I only did it this morning. So that's what I had to do. But guys, it's done. Sasha would even like to live here, wouldn't you, Sasha? And um, inside, I also got a brick over there to put planks in here. I'm going to put one plank from here to there and from there to there. So that then they can have all that space to sleep. Okay, the food and drinks will be on the other side. And uh, I'll also have a little curtain here as well. That I'll make a video while we do that as well. So, what do you guys think? Um, like I told you guys, we wanted to prepare this for the chickens to have the best uh, commodities possible. And uh, now we have to get the food. Um, the food bowl. Okay, a big one so that they have a lot of food for a long time. And uh, I have to make bring a, a water pipe from that tank that I told in previous video. I'm going to put the tank on top of the greenhouse. Then I'll bring a pipe through here going into a water bowl where there'll always be water dripping so that there's never, it never gets too hot the water and there's always water. Okay. 
so I'll leave this green space because they also need some green space to just roam around and uh, also got the grill okay so that the water can come through and go out so this is all done already okay Sasha come come Sasha come Sasha's happy with this place I think she won it for herself <laughs> she's got a better place <laughs> So um, that's about it, the updates guys. This one's catching up, it's still very small. See, it's a little finger, but it's still there. And the experience of the bronze, the pear tree bronze. Well, I still have my hopes up because it's still looking green. So if this picks up and if this really grabbed into the ground, that's amazing. It was a, tree, a twig that broke from the other pear tree and we, I just put it in the ground saying like okay the world wants you to pick up this will pick up so let's see how that goes that will be cool and we got a lot of white stone to spread around on the rest of the garden and more to come and uh, yes fix this place up a bit I'm still going to use the sand to fix up that wall that was down there that had fallen during the rain season because uh, this is just a hobby so I only do it on the, whenever I can uh, but to make the videos I've been picking up you know the pace I could get this ready for the videos to show you guys and we have the white sand to patch up any wool we need and we can also mix if something but now the kids went crazy over this white sand which is so has such a beautiful feeling you know so soft so they're going crazy and now they said uncle uncle uh, they didn't really say they needed more sand because they don't know how to talk like that still <laughs> but um, I'm gonna have to order another load of sand white sand and just pack it up somewhere I'm sort of figuring out what I can do maybe put it in old tires you know it's a way of recycling tires without going to the rubbish and let them play you know and uh, this is all going to be covered with white stone so I patched up some cement here to make a barrier and uh, now this is going to patch up all with white rocks and then I got to start thinking about how am I going to make the pool which I've never done in my life and I don't have a clue but I'm going to do it I'm feeling brave <laughs> so I have to see how am I going to do the swimming pool parts figure it out because I want to make a bridge from that swimming pool to the swimming pool uh, I think it will be a cool content you know to show you guys the evolution of it so yes from a pack of scrap garden and you couldn't even come to this garden this was a huge cage this was like a mini zoo uh, before we bought this property um, and uh, it was so much stuff in this so much plots and cactuses it was really like project but we went forward the Lord gave us strength and here we are today with this garden looking like a, just a beautiful place to just walk around meditate you know every day you guys like it and as you keep on changing things and keep on building new surprising cool stuff okay to entertain you guys it's all for you guys and uh, have a blessed day and uh, live your life to the maximum okay see you guys on the next one out